As she watched her own son grow, Jane continued to track the development of Flo's son, Flint, who was now four and a half. He had become a spoiled brat. All the other chimpanzees were driven away. Figgin watched as his little brother went to Fifi, giving her the rough end of the stick. Flo nearby, Fifi did not dare hit him back and went into a fit of fury. Flo had rarely disciplined Flint. Her daughter saw the result. The only thing she could do was walk away. Unable to suckle, Flint sucked his thumb. Pregnant with her fifth child, Flo was increasing her attempts to wean Flint. Typical of youngsters his age, he resisted, still trying to suckle and demanding to ride on Flo despite his large size. When denied his way, Flint threw violent temper tantrums, even hitting and biting his mother. Perhaps because she was too old to cope, Flo often gave in and let Flint have his way. Later, this would have grave consequences. Later that year, the baby was born and Jane named her Flame. Still attached to the placenta, Flame was just a few hours old. Because females give birth only every five to six years, a newborn always stirs much curiosity among the youngsters. Jane wondered what the birth would mean to Flint. Flint's behavior would be expected to change with the new arrival. But instead, he was getting worse. Even after the birth of his sibling, when most youngsters become more independent, Flint continued to pester his mother for attention. And more often than not, Flo gave in to his demands. Even with flame at Flo's breast, Flint sometimes tried to suckle. 